once we established the final subject matter of the composition, uh, we set to working uh, on making the piece. I used an old technique where I basically made like a one-third scale model and tried to work out as best I could the proportions of the piece, the composition, made a plaster cast of that one-third scale piece. And then for the enlargement, what we did was we used a technique that is, uh, probably goes back a couple thousand years, is hardly being used today because it is labor intensive and then there are other technologies that can be used to make the piece. We took this one-third scale model and we basically enclosed it inside of a cage or a box and we placed measurements along all the edges of the box. And then we construct a corresponding box three times the size and built uh, what are called armatures to support the, the water-based clay. Once those armatures were constructed, uh, the clay was applied, always making uh, measurements from the small piece, transferring it to the large piece. And we ended up using uh, 6,000 pounds of clay to make the piece. So we decided to do this on campus because of the meaning of the piece. I mean, this is something that was very personal and very special and important for the university. Uh, we also had the assistance of students who would come in and help me in the construction of the armatures and the applying of the clay and the modeling of the piece. Once that five month period of passed of, of actually modeling the clay piece, that piece then needs to be sent to the foundry to be able to make a bronze cast. So what we do is we use plaster waste mold process. I cover the entire piece with about an inch and a half or so of reinforced plaster. And once those sections are, are cast, they're opened up, the clay is removed, and the plaster is then left to dry out. The clay piece is basically destroyed. What we're left with is a plaster shell of the original clay. And so it stays in that state until we're able to seal the surfaces from the inside, apply plaster to it, and then reinforce it once again with burlap and uh, other steel, and close the pieces together. The process works uh, really well because the pieces came back together perfectly. Once the, the piece is put back together, then the outer shell is chiseled away. So we go from the positive clay to a negative plaster to a positive plaster. And that positive plaster then is shipped to a bronze casting foundry. They're able to make a silicone rubber mold from the plaster. And from the silicone rubber mold then, they make a wax version. The wax version is touched up here or there to maybe correct some imperfections that may have happened in the casting process of the wax. And then from there, it's dipped in a sort of ceramic material. It's fired in an oven. The wax is melted out. And then the molten bronze is poured into the void that was left by the molten wax. And then the ceramic shell is broken away. The bronze comes out and is retouched. The pieces are, are welded back together. The surfaces are chased and then patinaed and installed.